Swalamurgan. We are in the field past uh, 25 years. This is called air cold voltage stabilizer. Okay. So it uh, employs transformers. This transformer is called continuous variable transformer. Okay. It is used in the three phase stabilizer. Ah. May is to stabilize the electrical power which whether we are going to use in the houses or this, uh, industrial or domestic anywhere. Mm. This has the three independent phase correction mm. with own display units. Okay, that's the so, controller. Yeah, controller. That's the controller. Okay. Yeah, that's showing what is the voltage available. Okay. So this is called output voltage. What it is now delivering to the load. Okay. So each phase, it is, it will give face to face and the individual face voltages. Yeah, that means the minimum voltage, uh, what is the minimum voltage so it can in come? In this case, this stabilizer is using from 160 to 270 volts. Yeah, that means at 160 it will trip. No, below 160 yeah, it will trip. start uh, tripping. Okay, and above yeah, 255? 270. 270, 280. 280 it will trip again. Yeah. Okay, can you show and the other component on this, can you turn the side? Uh, so, yeah. after this, we have this purpose transformer. Yeah, what is this? Uh, this to either to increase or decrease the voltage. Okay. We are applying this to get more reliable. And this is the motor which rotates the continuous variable auto transformer. Okay, the feedback, when it gets the feedback. Yeah, yeah, when it gets the rev, it automatically feedbacks. Okay. And we have the conductor to get the output tripped in case of abnormal hmm. conditions. Like? Like low cutoff, low okay. voltage, output low voltage, output high voltage in case of overload of this equipment. Okay. All these uh, things taken care by this uh, conductor. Huh. It's the electromechanical device. The other current transformers. And what about the overload? Uh, overload when the load is above 110% of the rated voltage. Hmm. It will trip automatically. First it will give the sign. Okay. Overload indication. Okay. Then it will automatically trip. So can you show the controller there? Yeah. One turn. Be careful. Yeah, yeah. So this controller, when it trips, what do you have to do? If it trips, uh, if it trips, if the load is overloaded, then you have to uh, reduce the load. Mm. Uh, and once the trips, the uh, load is disconnected, it comes automatically. Mm. Or in the low voltage or high voltage, mm. it will uh, give the indications. Once the condition gets normal, no? mm. again it will get automatic switch on. Ah, okay. Can you turn the other side again a little bit? Yeah, what is this rotating thing? What is this? What happens? This one. Yeah, yeah. Depending on the voltage, it will move. Ah, that's moving. Ah, correct. You can when see the that. When the voltage is increase or decrease, ah. it's automatically moves. Ah, very good, very good. Gets the correct voltage. Ah, so that means it gives a feedback. So if the voltage is feedback, less, and then it is continuous variable. Yeah, that From is variable. To hundred percent. Mm, yeah. Any voltage it will. Or be now, 100%. now we can say this transformer is either servo transformer or variable transformer. Or auto transform, all the auto, three are the same, correct? Auto, yeah, auto transformer, continuous variable transformer. Correct. Yeah. And huh. this is one switch called bypass switch in case of. Okay, can you turn that side a little bit? Okay, okay, yeah, can you, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, in case of. Be careful, be careful, yeah. In case of any problem in the equipment, huh. you can just rotate the switch. Hmm. It will be whatever the incoming we are fitting, it will come as a output. Yeah, if the transformer is any, uh, any problem, we can always uh, change it to the bypass mode. Yes. Okay. Uh, and we have the input and output terminals. Yeah, anything which you want to tell uh, about this, any more details you want to tell? Yes, uh, see how it's working. Just I will tell you. Mm. Once you power on, mm. it will show that I will. Uh, yeah, off, off now. Okay. So when I pass it on, ah. it will sense the voltage. Okay. What is the voltage there in the output? Ah. And it will start set correct the all the three phases. Okay. Once it is corrected, it will give the time delay. Okay. The time delay you can set if you want anything on delay, it is called on delay. On delay. After the on delay, it will automatically get switched on. Here we default set it is 10 seconds. Okay. Once the power is energized to the stabilizer, mm. it uh, corrects all the three phases. Mm. Then wait for few seconds that is 10 seconds then it's getting output is gets on okay what is the advantage of putting the stabilizer see whenever you use the electrical equipments like air conditioner electrical fan or any other electrical it is specified in the 
what is the source supply voltage okay when the voltage is normal it will get optimum output okay uh, when the voltage goes higher the insulation gets failed the life of the equipment gets uh, <coughs> reduced when the voltage is low so it will get it will damage low, the equipment equipment also and you won't get if you take the ceiling fan Mm. When the voltage is around 220, you will get more air. Yeah. When it comes to 180 or 170, mm. the air uh, volume will be so very less. It, so, it is advisable for the domestic people to put yes. a 15 kVA. Yeah, uh, three air conditioner, mm. or the people having three air conditioner, they mm. can use this kind of uh, three phase stabilizer. Mm. And uh, where and all you have installed this uh, stabilizer? Uh, Any? Lot of uh, like Mandri says, your uh, apartment. Yeah. When did it in, in, install? Uh, three, three and a half years back. back. So right now it is working very good. Yes, yes. Without any problem. Yes. Okay. Uh, see, our major thing is like these mm -hmm. kind of customers and uh, all industrial customers. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's little bit costly, but it's worth to okay. use the stabilizer. So, well, so it, it will be compared to the air conditioner stabilizer. Uh, this is giving correct voltage. Okay. Two twenty plus or minus one percentage. Okay. In case of uh, air conditioner stabilizer, mm. the output will be 190 to 260 volts depending on the manufacturer okay. and depending on the input voltage variation it will show and we have everything all uh, it is shown in the display mm. and it is user setable if you want to change any voltage you can set accordingly okay, that sir. is possible okay sir thank you very much uh, uh, sir thank you very much